because we don't understand performance by and large across the industry, across mm-hmm. the planet, we, few, there are people who do. So I'm overgeneralizing, but um, they, we measure and report out learning activities. We do not uh, uh, measure and report out business results. We do not say that guy can now do produce a widget better, faster, and cheaper. And here's what it was, the baseline before he was trained. And here's what it is now that he's been trained. And here's the department before they were trained. And here's the entire department now that Mm -hmm. been trained. So we result to level one, you know, uh, smile sheets, happy, this indicators, reactions to the learning experience. Uh, we may measure at the level two using the Kirkpatrick model, which goes back to the 50s, um, the, the mastery of the learning objectives. But again, if your learning objectives weren't informed by authentic performance requirements, then they are arbitrary. They may be partial. They may be somewhat good, but not complete. They may be accurate, but incomplete. And and so we, we are caught with, because we don't understand performance in the first place, we can't measure it and report back to our clients. Here's how we improved your performance. We reduced your costs. We maybe didn't make things go faster, but we simply reduced your costs by producing a higher yield, more quality, less rejects, or what, less rework, whatever those sub-elements are for the business metrics that clients care about. 